Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x minus 4 whole to the power 6 is equal to x to the power 6. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by moving this uh, x to the power 6 uh, to the left hand side. Then this equation will become x minus 4 whole to the power 6 minus x to the power 6 is equal to 0. Now this x minus 4 whole to the power 6 can be written as x minus 4 whole cubed and whole to the power 2 minus this x to the power 6 can be written as x cubed and whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now we have difference of uh, two squares. So by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become x minus 4 whole cubed plus x times x minus 4 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x minus 4 whole cubed plus x cubed is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 4 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0. So we have two cases. This is case 1 and this is case 2. First we solve case 1. Case 1 is x minus 4 whole cubed plus x cubed is equal to 0. In this expression we have sum of cubes. So by using this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This expression will become x minus 4 plus x times x minus 4 whole squared minus x times x minus 4 plus x squared is equal to 0. Now this x plus x will become 2x minus 4 times this x minus 4 whole squared will become x squared minus 8 times x plus 16. Negative x times x negative x squared negative x times negative 4 plus 4x plus this x squared is equal to 0. Next, 2 times x minus 4 times this negative x squared will be cancelled out with this positive x squared. And uh, here we are left with this x squared and this negative 8x plus 4x will become negative 4x plus this 16 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 4 times x plus 16 is equal to 0. From this equation we move this negative 4 to the right hand side then 2x will be equal to 4 
and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that x is equal to 4 over 2 and x is equal to 2 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of this equation now from this quadratic equation according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root r in place of b squared we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 16 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 next x is equal to negative times negative 4 will become positive 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 16 64 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of this 16 minus 64 will become negative 48 divided by 2 and x is equal to 4 plus minus this square root of negative 48 can be written as square root of 16 times square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 3 this square root of negative 1 is equal to i divided by 2 next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 and in bracket left 2 plus minus 2 times root 3 i divided by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 from here we get uh, 2 values of x x 2 and 3 is equal to 2 plus minus 2 times root 3 i so from this case 1 we found three solution now we solve case 2 case 2 is x minus 4 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0 case 2 is x minus 4 whole cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0 we have difference of 2 cubes so by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this expression will become x minus 4 minus x times x minus 4 whole squared plus x times x minus 4 plus x squared is equal to 0. Next, this negative x will be considered over with this positive x and here we are left with the negative 4 times this x minus 4 whole squared will become x squared minus h times x plus 16 and x times x will become plus x squared x times negative 4 negative 4 x plus this x squared is equal to 0 now if we divide both sides by negative 4 this negative 4 will be cancelled out and here we are left with the, this x squared plus uh, x squared plus x squared will become 3 times 
x squared and negative 8x minus 4x will become negative 12x plus this 16 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 12 and c is equal to 16 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative times negative 12 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 12 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 3 times in place of c we write 16 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 3. Next x is equal to negative times negative will become positive 12 plus or minus square root of this in negative 12 squared will become 144 minus 4 times 3 12 12 times 16 192 divided by 2 times 3 6 next x is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 192 will become negative 48 divided by 6. Next x is equal to 12 plus or minus this square root of negative 48 can be written as square root of 16 times square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 6. Next x is equal to 12 plus minus this square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 3 and this square root of negative 1 is i divided by 6. Next x is equal from the numerator we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor and in bracket left 6 plus minus 2 times root 3 i divided by 6. Now 2 1 time and 2 3 times 6. So from here we get 2 values of x, x4 and x5 is equal to 6 plus minus 2 times root 3 i divided by 3 and first we found the value of x2 in 3 is equal to and x1 is equal to value of x2 and 3 is 2 plus minus 2 times root 3 i and value of x1 is 2. value of x1 is 2 and value of x2 and 3 is 2 plus minus 2 times root 3 i. So, we have 5 solutions of this equation.